Hi there. Today we're going to talk about being sexy and safe. We're going to talk about PrEP. So in case you don't know, PrEP refers to pre-exposure prophylaxis, and it's also called Truvada. It's this blue pill right here that you can't really see. Essentially what it does is you take it every day, and it prevents you from getting HIV. There's a whole bunch of scientific stuff that I'm not going to talk about because I don't feel qualified. If you want information about it, I will provide some in the links, but what I figured I would talk about today is my personal experience with PrEP. Basically, I had been thinking about getting PrEP since I heard about it. I know there's a lot of controversy right now over the drug because people are arguing, in the same way people argued about birth control, that it's encouraging promiscuous sexual activity and everyone's just gonna be going out and having lots of gay sex now. And I think just as the panic died down about birth control, the panic's gonna die down about PrEP, uh, considering how good of a thing it actually is. It's recommended that you should probably take PrEP if you are a person who has sex with other people who have sex with men who have sex with men, which is all complicated, but basically, if you are in a situation where you are at risk for HIV and AIDS, then you probably should be taking PrEP. Obviously, that applies to me. I don't live in a chaste bubble, all right? People are having sex with people. Everywhere, all the time, it's happening. Being safe is important. This is the thing that bugs me about all this controversy, is that why if you had the ability to be safe about something that everyone is doing, why wouldn't you do it? Dating apps have made it so easy to hook up with people, and I'm not gonna debate the merits of hooking up, but it happens. Sometimes people lie, or sometimes people aren't sure about their status, and as much as you might take the precautions to ask them to be safe, to use a condom, you can't always know. And I live in Los Angeles, there's a shit ton of people, uh, STIs are a problem here. And I decided that for me, it probably was a good idea to go on PrEP. So, uh, the first thing I did was I called up my dad because I was on his health insurance plan. And I was a little nervous about this because I came out to him really recently and I wasn't sure how he was gonna react to me talking about this drug, but he was completely on board. He was like, if this is gonna keep you safe, uh, let's 100% go for it. The issue that we ran into is that it costs a lot of money and the insurance plan that I was on with my dad had a really high deductible, which basically means that we had to pay a shit ton of money out of pocket before the insurance would kick in to cover the cost of the drug. So what I ended up having to do was switch insurance plans, that's a whole thing, but um, my experience was I went into the LGBT center here in LA, which is fantastic, and the process was that I had to get my blood drawn and I had to get tested, which I do about every three months already anyway. The blood tests were actually what cost the most for this. It cost me a couple hundred bucks, I think, to do all the blood work, and then basically I got the prescription, I filled it out, and I actually... So Gilead offers this copay card, and basically it pays for part of or all of your copay for this drug. So when I got the prescription filled and I went to the pharmacy, I showed them this card and it essentially made the drug cost nothing. But other than that, you take it once a day, uh, you go in like every 90 days for a checkup just to make sure everything's running fine and, and there's no problems. It's super effective and it's super nice and it, it takes away some of the worry I have and it honestly it hasn't changed my sexual behavior at all. I'm not going out and having just like a ton more sex now than I was before. I feel so much safer now because I put the control sort of back in my hands. I think it's a great thing. I think everyone should be doing it. <laughs> I think the cost could be cheaper. Uh, for people who don't have a health insurance plan that allows it because I know that I uh, was lucky that I was able to do all this and a lot of people can't. I live in a world now where AIDS is not the life-threatening disease that it used to be. It's still incredibly dangerous, obviously, and it can still do a lot of damage, and yes, it can still kill people. I would rather take a pill every day to prevent HIV than be forced to take a pill because I've already contracted HIV. But anyways, I decided to take it. The best part is, it doesn't matter if anyone else thinks I should have taken it or not because it's all on me and if it's something you're interested in then I would recommend looking into it talk to your doctor go online and read about it just just educate yourself that's all I can say to do and then make a decision for yourself that's what I did guys pride is so so close I'm gonna start vlogging like tomorrow probably for it expect a fun video next week bye obviously I've changed since moving to California but I had to think about the ways in which I changed